Hello, my name is Mira Hoffman, and in this video we're going to be going over some great chair massage techniques that are going to include stretching and a little bit more movement to help your clients and friends feel better. So we'll begin by just warming up the back and saying hello, placing our hands on either side of the spine, towards the tops of the shoulders, and we'll press down. Press down. Working our way down towards the hips. just encouraging them to let their arm be happy and as if you've checked out some of my other videos you may have seen some of these techniques but we're gonna place our forearm onto the tops of the shoulder and then with my free hand my outer hand I'm gonna roll around the front of the shoulder and as I work the top of the shoulder I'm gonna use the fingertips outer hand to work a little bit into the top of the pec and give a little bit of support to the shoulder work. So my fingertips are just kind of supporting the front of the shoulder, <coughs> but I can also use them to work a little bit into the tops of the pec and create kind of a counter pressure the work that I'm doing on the top of the shoulder. And then you definitely want to be mindful of your clients, making sure that you've worked with them before, or maybe if it's a female and you're a male, just kind of giving some space and kind of skipping this traction. And then I'm going to use my fingertips and I'm going to trace along the edge of the scapula here. So I'm going to place my fingers right at the edge bottom edge and I'm going to traction back with that front hand. So placing the fingertips along the edge, tractioning back. This is going to give some nice focused attention to the edge of the scapula. And I'm going to trace all the way up. Repeat that using our thumb. So encouraging your client not to help. I know it's natural to want to kind of follow the movement, but if you are able to help them relax and let go, then it makes this work even more powerful. So using my thumb allowing it to dive a little bit underneath the shoulder blade as I work. And then I'll just kind of close out by squeezing up the neck a little bit. And then we can squeeze down the arm. We do that I'm going to pick up the hand and then place my elbow on the top of their shoulder and from here I can rock my hand back and as I do that I'm bringing their arm up so this allows the weight of their arm to kind of create that pressure on the top of the shoulder try and relax the arm One 
motion. Another hand to do the other motion. Again, bring the arm down and then just gently fold it behind the back. If they're flexible enough, I'd be careful of any shoulder injuries. If they have a history of dislocating their shoulder, they definitely will not be able to kind of relax it. And I'm pinning it with the outside of my hip or leg here. And just using my thumbs to kind of squeeze under the shoulders. Work into the rhomboids and trap. A little bit more underneath that shoulder blade angle. Allow the arm to come back out. And then I'm going to do some circular motions here. So traction, almost like if they were a swimmer and they're swimming freestyle, kind of reaching out in front of them, really opening up the shoulder here. So as I come back down, I start to traction downwards. So up, stretch up and forward, down, we're pulling downwards in that motion. You can come back, you can see we're really getting a nice opening here in the neck, top of the shoulder. And then I'll change my position so that I'm now facing down the body. Using my hand, I'm gonna press against the top of the shoulder. So we'll come to just balance both sides by pressing downwards on the shoulders with our palms. this side as well so letting the arm hang I'm gonna bring my forearm to the top of the shoulder curving my fingers around the front of the deltoid using that as a little bit of attraction I can also use my fingertips to work on the top part of the pec here and those attachments near the clavicle Again, being sensitive to your relationship with the client. Making sure to honor any boundaries that they have or preferences. And then I'm going to come in and place my fingertips at the edge of the scapular border. And slight attraction their shoulder towards me. Encouraging the client to relax their own. Easier said than done. And we can also repeat that using our thumb. So just tracing right at the edge of the scapula, the shoulder blade. And placing the thumb, rocking the shoulder back. down the arm and then bring it back behind them using the outside of your leg to pin at the wrist and then we can work a little bit more into the shoulder here again being sensitive or aware of any shoulder injuries or dislocations which may make these positions not feasible for your client the arm up and resting my forearm or elbow I'll gently lift the hand upwards using the weight of the arm to help press my arm into the top of their shoulders or I can use one forearm to apply weight and my hand shoulder rotations here, almost like the person swimming, so rotating up and forward, then down and back up. And I'll transition. 
position. So I'm facing down the client, placing one, placing one hand on top of the shoulder, and using my other hand to pull the arm towards me. Or if you'd like, you can use your forearm. That's the point of pressure. to just do another walk up and down the back to integrate the work that we've been doing shoulder, the other hand on the back of the shoulder, and I call this a shoulder sandwich. Basically just going to press and kind of rotate the shoulder up and back down. So kind of opening up the pec here, squeezing motion feels really yummy. And then we can do the same thing on the other side. shoulder, other hand on the back of the shoulder, squeezing up and back down. And then I like to squeeze down the arms, just kind of opening up the muscles in those areas. Next we'll have the client interlace their fingers and put them behind their pet. And then let all your weight come into my side body here. So you're actually going to lean back a little bit, let your head come back and rest against my side. And then I'm tractioning backwards at the elbows. So a few nice deep breaths here, allowing your body to relax. This is really good at opening up the pecs and chest. We'll come back to center, letting the arms come down, and then we'll do some facilitated neck stretches. So on the first one, I'm going to place my forearm kind of in that same area at the top of the shoulders. We're going to have the client bring the opposite ear down to the opposite shoulder, so yep. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale again, just same motion, letting your opposite ear come down to the opposite shoulder. And taking some nice deep breaths here. And on your next inhalation, coming back to center again. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Place my forearm down, just kind of resting my other hand as support, and then opposite ear down to the opposite shoulder. And we'll inhale just initially to come back to center before staying there for a little bit longer. Just giving our bodies a, t a moment to assimilate that movement, making any adjustments as needed. And then when you're ready, you can exhale, drop the head, and then take a couple nice 
slow, deep breaths here. the front of the neck a little bit so I'm going to use my fingertips to pin kind of along the SEM and scalene muscles so getting in position making sure I don't feel a pulse and then this time we're going to have the head, client turn their head so they're going to be turning away from our pin so yep like you're looking over mm -hmm. and then come back to center and then once they come back to center, I'm going to move my hand up just a little bit further along that muscle line. So again, turning your head away from my fingers. And return to center. And I'm just trying to keep a really nice, solid contact as they make this movement. So turning once more. And you'll feel sometimes it's like the muscles sort of slip from underneath the fingers. That's okay. Coming back to center. And turning. And then coming back to center. I'm just going to go all the way up. So go ahead and turn again. And then let the clients choose their own pace. So maybe they want to move a little bit faster, maybe moving a little bit slower feels good. One more time. And then come back to center. And we'll do that same thing on the other side. So again, just kind of getting into the position, you can see the edge of the clavicle. Some people kind of have a little knob there and then the SCM kind of runs from there up to the edge of the ear and the scalenes kind of run sort of adjacent to it. So making contact and then having the client turn their head away from your fingers and then coming back to center making sure you don't feel any pulse while you do this otherwise you're on top of their veins and arteries come back to center Make them pass out and turn. And as we're doing this, we're just working up the muscle bellies. Go ahead and turn. And back to center. And then last one. And then back to center. From here, we can take our hands and scoop underneath the ears, and I'm trying to line up the um, bulkier part of my palm right alongside of the edge of the skull. So I'm going to come underneath her earring here, and I'm just going to traction gently upwards, so it's not like trying to pull her head off, it's just about lengthening. Take a nice deep breath. As I exhale, releasing, pressing down the tops of the shoulders once more. And then I like to close with a little tip potent since we've already brought the client into more of an active position. So I'll bring my hands um, together, letting my fingers be loose. And when you do that, you get this nice little kind of clapping noise. So working down one side and up the neck a little bit and then we'll do the same thing on the other side working on one side of the spine and we'll just brush out the tops of the shoulders thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this video Please take a moment to check out all our offerings at wellnessplus.tv. If you'd like to find out more about me and my practice, you can visit mirahoffman.com or serenitywellness.us. 
I look forward to connecting with you and wish you all the very best. Goodbye. With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv to find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv, get well, feel better.